A Fayette County woman is facing charges tonight after police say she left two developmentally challenged men in a car. But it's what she did next that has police even more concerned. Ross Gadotti has the details and joins us live. Ross. According to police, the two men that were in this car allegedly are very, very fortunate because something very bad could have happened. And they tell us if not for a heads up citizen, that very well may have happened. Smithton Burroughs police chief says it was an alert citizen who let him know of an alleged problem along Pierce Street. And she pointed towards a car, had two individuals in it. She told me that the two individuals were both uh, mentally disabled and that the driver of the car, who was their caretaker, was in our local market playing a video poker machine. The car still had its keys in the ignition. The individuals, both men, were apparently developmentally challenged. The one man identifying his caretaker to the chief as a woman named Samantha. I went into the store, and sure enough, right in front of the video poker machine was uh, a female. I said, are you Samantha? And she said, yes. The suspect, identified as Samantha K. White of Dawson, PA, told the chief. I said, oh, I've just been here for a few minutes. Just came to get them sandwiches. Miss White, however, had no sandwiches, and her story didn't check out. Chief Natale says he wanted to make sure that Samantha White had only been in the store, as she said, only a few minutes. So he looked at surveillance video, and that told a completely different story. The security cameras confirmed that she was in the store for one hour and seven minutes. Samantha K. White was charged with felony neglect of care of dependent persons and recklessly endangering another person. I contacted Jason Kaufman. He's the chairman of Advanced Living Options. That's the firm White works for. And the two men in the car are clients of. He declined comment on the matter, but he did say, as of right now, Miss White is still employed with his firm. The company did, however, tell Chief Natale. Uh, they told me that there was no circumstance under which these two individuals were supposed to be, were supposed to be alone. Now, neither one of the individuals in the car suffered in any way, shape, or form. They're going to be okay. They're just fine. Samantha White, meanwhile, faces a preliminary hearing on November 30th. Reporting live, Ross Goddotti, KDK News.